Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to tell you today about how we should talk about um, Andrew Zondo and his atrocities. Um, the atrocity that he committed on December 23rd, 1985, when people were shopping in a shopping mall in a Manzum Toady. And talk about it because it was a deliberate killing of civilians. There was no military or police strategic target in that case. And the ANC assumed responsibility for this attack. And he is still an ANC hero to this day. I don't think he's a hero at all. Um, but the Truth and Reconciliation Commission ruled Zondo responsible, and they didn't grant him amnesty. Okay, but the, there's a street in Amanzim Toady named after him, right where the bombing took place. And before this happened, the town of Amanzim Toady is about 69% white, 22% uh, black. Most of the black population of, the, of uh, Zulu um, Zulu descent, or they belong to the Zulu tribe, I should say, or the Zulu clan, because um, it's in KwaZulu Natal, it's south of Durban. And that town, particularly since 1994, does not have a lot of racial tension. And the blacks and the whites coexist, they get along, and Andrew Zondo's family actually confirmed that, particularly his father. And his father um, was a pastor, and his father opposed the change of changing of the street name to Andrew Zondo Street because he believes it'll open up old wounds. And I think his father's right in this case. And um, the judge who um, sentenced Andrew Zondo to death, it was a guy by the name of Ramon Leon. And he did not believe in the death penalty, but he also believed as a judge his duty was to have the punishment fit the crime because it was a deliberate killing of civilians by this bomb. And one of the um, civilians that died was Isabel von Veck, who was, um, I believe, a two-month-old baby. She died in the bombing, and um, another child died as well. And that he believed because of that, that the punishment fitting the crime, that it should be, the death penalty should be given. So, talk about Andrew Zondo and his atrocities. That, um, that can get people to understand that the ANC was not just a bunch of angels with halos. That they were not the heroes that all ended apartheid, that there was some villainous things that they did during apartheid, and this was one of them. Anyways, everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless them. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.